everyone. Today I'll be doing an unboxing for Art Snacks July 2016. Art Snacks is a monthly subscription that's around $20 of premium art supplies that get shipped to your front door every month. And inside comes a bookmark, like so. And this bookmark lets you know the name of all the products, the prices, retail prices, and a short description of everything that's inside. Every month there's also a sticker that is of their logo, the Pencil Pretzel, and there's also a snack. This month the art snacks are Smarties. The first item in the box is a sample size of the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. There we go. And this is what it looks like inside. So I've actually used this before. At my current job there's a huge bucket of this stuff and we use it to restore some brushes that we feel are meeting its end. So for example, we've had a brush that was covered in dried Mod Podge and we used and we got the brush and kind of just wetted it and rubbed some of the stuff inside uh, following the directions, let it sit for a while, wash, wash it out and all that dry Mod Podge was actually gone and the brush was completely functional. Once again, you would have never known that there was Mod Podge dried all over the bristles. So this stuff is really good. Um, the big containers can get really pricey, but from what I've seen at my current work, uh, it lasts a very long time. Especially if you take care of your brushes, you won't have to use this all the time. Um, but just know that if you have dried acrylic on your brushes or even Mod Podge, this stuff can get it off and it's pretty good. So I'm really excited that I got this small case so I don't have to actually go out and get one. <laughs> All the supplies in this box this month go together very well. Um, other months there's been like inks and markers and things that don't necessarily have to be used together. Um, but this month every item in this box should be used. Um, the, except for the cleaner, you don't have to use it unless you like ruin the brush, but you can clean it with it if you want to. So the next item in the box is actually a paintbrush, which you can see here. It is a Elite Synthetic Kalinsky Sable Brush by Princeton Brushes. By Princeton Brush. It's a size 6, and mine seems to be in pretty good condition. Um, I've seen... I've seen at stores where the brushes kind of get messed up from the the protector right there. And to go with this watercolor brush is a core watercolor tube by Golden. This is by Golden Paints. Um, as you can tell mine's phthalo blue which I'm really excited to use. It's a really beautiful color. I say that this line of watercolor is really intense with pigments and that when it dries it's equally as intense. This item alone is over $15 retail price, so I don't want to use this carelessly. I guess I want to say this is probably the most expensive paint that I own for its size. Uh, but then again, it's watercolor. Watercolor tubes are usually small because they last forever. To go with the watercolor brush and to go with the watercolor paint, we also have this very unique watercolor pad. This is what it looks like. So it's a Yupo watercolor paper pad by Legion Paper. And I don't know if you can tell, but this paper feels very glossy. Kind of like um, photo paper a little bit. Maybe not so much, but it's very slippery. There's no textures on here whatsoever. It's very smooth and feels kind of glossy. This is, there's not too many pages in here. Um, and it's 100% polyurethane, acid free. This paper is actually water resistant. It's non-porous. On the bookmark, it says that your entire watercolor picture can be wiped away after you lay it down, like wiped away clean. So if you are going to put watercolor on here, or inks or anything like that and you want it to stay, you have to let it dry. Like, don't touch it for several minutes for it to dry and then it should stay on here. It will give new possibilities to watercolor 
artists out there. Lately I've actually been practicing my watercolor because I have no idea how to use watercolors and so this will be very interesting. It also says that you can use alcohol based markers on this surface too. So now I'm going to be doing a demo using these three items and I'll be using it on this surface which is the non-porous watercolor paper. I'm not going to be doing a demo of this because this is just to clean your paintbrushes and I don't want to use this on a brand new brush. Um, I have confidence in my brush cleaning skills that I don't need this for my first round on this uh, paintbrush right here. So I will be doing applications of these, the pen and the paint separately along with them on top of each other. After that I'll be doing a time lapse video and using only these tools right here. I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching.